All right, you guys, this is uh, part two of understanding uh, rational exponents and radicals. So how are radicals and rational exponents related? So, so in yesterday's lesson, uh, we did um, uh, the very first part. We, we explored uh, uh, powers, so powers of 3. 3 to the third equals 27. 3 squared was 9. 3 to the first is 1. So if we divided 27 by 3, we got... We got 9, and 9 divided by 3 was 3, and so what happened was when we divide by 3 with these exponents, it reduces the exponents by 1 right there. So here, so 3 cubed divided by 3 is 3 squared, reduce the exponent, and then uh, divided by 3, reduce the exponent again. If we did uh, 3 divided by 3, What's 3 divided by 3? Well, that equals 1. Well, if we followed this pattern, um, uh, we reduce the exponent by 1, and we get 0. Now, look, we get a when we divide by 3, all of a sudden it becomes a negative 1, 3 to the negative 1, and then divide by 3 gets us 3 to the negative 2 right there, okay? So um, 3 cubed is 27, 3 squared is 9, 3 to the first is, is uh, 3, and then... If we did 3 divided by 3, that gets us 1 right there. So look, you guys, 3 to the 0 equals 1. Well, what's 1 divided by 3? 1 divided by 3 is 1 third. So 3 to the negative 1 power equals 1 third. 1 third divided by 3, well, dividing by 3 is like multiplying by 1 third. So 1 third times 1 third gets us 1 ninth right there. So 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 ninth. Okay, so check this out. 3 to the negative 1 right here, this 3 to the negative 1, equals one-third. Three to the negative two equals one-ninth. If we put those in exponents right there, this is one over three to the positive one. This is one over three to the positive two. So check this out. This negative exponent put it in the denominator and it became a positive exponent. So if we did three to the negative three, that would equal 1 over 3 to the positive 3 right there. So when we have negative exponents, you guys, it just flips it and puts it in the denominator. So here's a rule. So if it's x to the negative n power, then it's 1 over x to the positive n. And if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, then it just comes upstairs and it becomes a positive exponent upstairs. Now, the book doesn't give us this one, but it sure is helpful or uh, to have. And then another one that the book doesn't give you is if we have a fraction to a negative exponent, just flip the fraction and it becomes a positive exponent, okay? Both of those are handy. So why can't there be uh, 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 a zero to the n rule right there? Well, because there's there's three different cases. If n was negative, that would put zero in the denominator and you can't you can't divide by zero. It makes it undefined, okay? And then uh, having zero to zero, well, it's tempting to say it's one from yesterday's rule right there, just like any other base to the power, but it also is undefined. Zero to the zero power is undefined, okay? And then um, uh, for all other values of n, zero to the zero power uh, equals zero, okay? So either way, it's a broken pattern, so we can't make a rule for zero to the n power right there because it just breaks it up. All right, so let's evaluate these, okay? So negative exponents, this goes downstairs, one over nine to the positive two, which is one over 81, okay? This one is one over 74 to the positive one, which is just one over 74. Okay, so fractions to a negative exponent, that just flips the fraction and it becomes a positive exponent. We get 27. Okay, same here. We flip this fraction and makes a positive exponent right there. And so there we'd get 320 right there. Okay, so let's tr uh, try that with the um, uh, uh, negative uh, fractional exponent. So same rule, we just put them in the denominator, it becomes a, a positive fraction right there, okay? And then uh, this one half power is the same as the square root right there, okay? So here's an imaginary one right here, 36 to the one will be that one right there, and we don't need that index, so it's the square root. And the square root of 36 is just six, so it's one over six right there. All right, let's do that with this one right here. So it goes in the denominator and it becomes a a positive power right there, okay? So this is going to be 1 over the cube root of 27, and the cube root of 27 is 3, so 1 over 3, okay? All right, so 1 to any power equals 1, but let's go through the process right here. So, so it becomes 1 over 1 to the positive 3 fourths power, and so this is going to be 
the fourth root of one cubed right there, okay? And then so the fourth root of one is um, uh, one, and so one cubed is just one. So so the, uh, if you have one to any power, it always equals one. Even one to the zero equals one. All right, so let's do that with these guys. So this one I don't need to change, but this one has to go in the denominator because of the negative exponent right there, okay? Now let's just simplify this guy first right there, and then we'll, we'll put it in that denominator right there. So this is going to be the cube root of 27 squared. Okay, so the cube root of 27 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So this is 9, and this is going to be 1 ninth. So we have 9 plus 1 ninth, and so 9 plus 1 ninth is, is 9 and 1 ninth. Okay, you guys, all right. If you are in our class, that would be your assignment, and there's the answers to the odds. Take care.